just going to do a little addendum to this Barcelona Pavilion and uh, let's, let's say we wanted to put a pitched roof on this instead of flat roofs. Okay, so let's, uh, let's work on the rooftop layer. So we make current the rooftop layer and I want to switch off all the other layers just now. Okay, so minus LA return off return star return three times. Okay, the gray is a bit difficult to see, so I'm going to make the, the layer a different color. Just make it something we can see, make it green. Okay, now uh, let's say we were going to put a 20 degree roof pitch on this portion. Okay, and then we'll use the height of that roof pitch on this portion. Okay, so firstly we want to view the model from the front. So let's say the roof pitch is going to go in this direction. Okay, so we want the front coordinate system. Okay, and then if you use polylines, there's no chance of the lines kind of dropping front forwards and backwards. So I want a polyline. That's a spline, where's the polyline? So polyline. Okay, from this point. Okay, now I don't know what distance I want to, to go, but I do know the angle. So if you just specify, if you say use the angle symbol and then 20, we should be fixed at an ang a direction of 20 degrees. Okay, just drag the line out and select, return to finish. Okay, then I, I could mirror this using the middle of the roof shape that's already there. So I'd mirror, MI, return, pick this line and return. And we want to use the midpoint. So it's shift and right click your mouse, get midpoint. Now it's, it's picking the midpoint, but it's not showing me where the icon is. Okay, if I zoom out a bit, you can see where the midpoint icon is showing up. So the, the UCS icons always go to the Z position of zero. Okay, so watch out for that when you're using the mirror command because it's uh, it can be a bit off-putting. So pick the midpoint, put ortho on, set my direction upwards, click and return to finish. Okay, I can then trim these together. TR for trim. Pick the two polylines and return and then chop off the bits I don't need. Okay, so if I want to make this a solid roof, I'd need to trace over that, or you could pedit them together, we could join them, but the trace is probably easier. Just trace over the shape and close it, so C, return, and then we can extrude that by the depth the roof shape. Okay, if I shade that, we've got a solid pitched roof there. And if we were going to say this roof, because it's a bit wider, so it would, if it was at 20 degrees, it'd be a bit higher. So let's say we wanted to limit the roof height over here to the same as this one. Okay, do we put UCSs back to normal. So UCS, return twice, and draw a polyline from this point to the middle of this line. So it's a polyline from end point, and I want to go to the midpoint here. So shift and middle, click your mouse, and get midpoint there. So that's taken the height information across to this side. Okay, set my UCS to be the left hand side and then I'll draw a fresh polyline. Okay, C to close the shape, and then extrude that. And we've got the two roofs. Okay, so they're both the same height, but they'll be different angles. Okay, because this roof isn't as wide as this one, this one's a little bit wider.
Okay, hope that's uh, you a little idea. I don't think Mies van der Rohe had the intention of having roof on there. So let's see with how silly it looks. Minus LA return on return star return twice. That looks quite nice actually. But, uh, so it makes it surprisingly kind of makes it look a bit Grecian once you put a pitched roof on it. Like a Greek temple. Interesting. Okay, hope that's been useful. I'll stop the video there.